Chester, kind of a follow up uh, regarding the book you mentioned previously, which you co written it uh, by the title Leading with Gratitude Eight Leadership Practices for Extraordinary Business Results. Can you tell us more about it? And you also mentioned that there's kind of a discrepancy in your, uh, in the, based on the research that you found. What can you tell us more about that? Yes, you know, I, it's so interesting to us, uh, and I always say us, Adrian Gostick's my co author. For 20 years, we've been studying culture, leadership, you know, teams, and so on. There was always this common thread that the best teams, the most productive, most innovative, and so on, they all celebrated their successes. They all celebrated each other. There was always this stream of, of gratitude. And the gap between what people felt like they were doing and what was actually happening was always fascinating to us. Now, our research is based on over a million engagement surveys. And we would often ask employees, did you receive any recognition in the last seven days? Do you feel appreciated for your work? It's almost always one of the lowest scores. You know, uh, often one of the myths is, is uh, leaders will say, well, you can do it too much. You know, you can get too much gratitude and then it becomes trite. And I always say, really, when was the last time anybody in your team went home at the end of the day and said to their spouse or their partner or their family, I couldn't get anything done today because I was receiving too much recognition. I felt overvalued at work. You know, it's consistently one of the lowest scores. And so that's why we say to leaders, you know, develop a, a discipline mm -hmm. and be very intentional about making sure that you're touching base on a regular basis with your people and letting them know they feel appreciated. Now, I know that, you know, in, in, in our sessions, you're, you, you put all kinds of great resources uh, in, in, the, in the notes, we actually have a wonderful website, leadingwithgratitudebook.com. Yes. And there's a lot of that are free. Now, we hope you'll buy the book, of course. In fact, anybody can buy one, buy two, give it as a, a gift. The point is, is that there are these tips. We have the, the uh, gratitude journal that we publish on, on LinkedIn, where people share their stories and they share how they do it. Because, you know, it, it, it's very easy for leaders to fall into the trap. And this is a very specific example. This great leader, he said, oh, I give lots of recognition. Anybody does something great, I give them a $5 Starbucks card. In fact, they call me the Starbucks guy. And we go, yeah, that's, that's a great start, but let's ask your people, do they appreciate it? And the, the story of one woman was classic. She said, you know, I actually, I don't like Starbucks. Mm. My neighbor is crazy for Starbucks. So I always give her my Starbucks card. She says, she loves it. And that was that moment where the, where the leader said, I realized that I was recognizing my employee's neighbor <laughs> for her good work. So again, you know, a simple tips on, are you expressing your gratitude in a way that's meaningful to your people that they'd appreciate and, and shorten up that gap between what you think is really effective and what is actually effective. Does that make sense? Yeah, I totally agree with you. I started myself a journal every morning uh, where I post three things that I'm grateful. It can be very specific and or it can be very bored. I also uh, check your LinkedIn post that lately you've been posting a lot of gratitude, which I appreciate. It also gives you kind of a sense who you are and what your values are, right? It really does. Yeah, we've got a little campaign, hashtag find your gratitude. Yeah. So I committed that for a year, I would post a picture every day of something I'm grateful for. And sometimes it's, it's a picture of a tree or it's a walk in the park or, or members of my family or, or something. To, to your point, I'd never thought of this before, so it's good for you to ask, that it does give you a snapshot into what you value. You know, what are you grateful for? I love your practice of writing things in the morning. My wife and I have a tradition at the end of every day. Yeah. We say, what are your three? And it's a lovely way to end the day on a, on a note of, of gratitude. I love that you brought that up. These simple little practices really do keep in context uh, that as bad as things are, there's always something for, for which sure. you can be grateful. For yeah. sure. And for the audience, if you have any gratitude tips, please leave it in the comment section. I'll also put the link of the book. So if people want to download anything free, they're more than happy. And again, uh, tune in next time for another great question with Chester.